Hey guys, we're back in beautiful Wilkesboro today, and I'm actually on the hunt for somebody that's kind of sort of famous, but not, it's like more of a, a folklore person. I'm trying to search for Tom Dooley's grave. I actually parked on a little bit of a cliff. Yeah, that's, I hate cliffs. There's a fence up here. I might have to jump. Oh, real quickly. Interesting enough, I was trying to use my camera. It says I have a memory card error, which isn't true. My memory card is actually just fine. So I'm having to use my phone. So if it seems kind of weird, it's because I'm having to film with my phone. There's the fence. This is not my first time jumping a fence, mind you. And I've lost 30 pounds, so it should be a little bit easier trying to get over. So if I can get to it, I'm going to use my spirit box of an EVP session. But there might actually be a trail down here. I might not have to jump the I might not have to jump the fence. Which is really good actually. Did you say it was down here? There might be my husband went around the fence to see if there was any way we could get through. Real quickly, we stopped at the museum first. The Wilkes County Historical Museum. And they said, hey, it's perfectly okay for you guys to jump the fence. But there's a footpath down here too. So we're going to take that. This is uh, definitely a little more for the able-bodied. It's hilly. It's steep. Did you find it? Oh my god, I see it. It's way up there. That is so cool. Yo. It's, hang on, for those of you who are going to try and find it. It's right, it's literally off of the road on a bluff. What you do, park at the gate like I did, just walk up and find the trail, and it's right up here. Because I tried to find videos of people who have found the gravesite, never told me how to get in. But it's right up here. Looks like people have been leaving coins and some money, so we're going to leave a quarter. I'm going to put a heads up. 1500 bucks, that was a day's worth of work right there. Mm-hmm. Guilty or innocent, he's still part, a huge part of our local lore and history. So I whipped out my spirit box and my speaker. Let's see what happens. Is there anyone out here that wishes to communicate with us? Is your name Tom or Thomas? Did you fight in the Civil War? Were you fighting for the Confederates? Did you murder Laura Foster? A lot of us think you were innocent. Did you murder Laura? Tom, are you with us? All you gotta do is talk into this little black box. Either one of them. You want me to shut mine off real fast? You can hear yours. Did you murder Laura Foster? Did you sacrifice yourself for Anne? To this day, they say that you may be an innocent man, but you were covering up because you had love for Anne, and Anne was the one that killed her. Did you kill her, Tom?
What was that? I don't know. I heard that loud, clear as day. Say that again, Tom. Did you kill Laura? Did Ann kill Laura? Tom, we know evidence points towards Ann. Ann confessed to her murder, but you took the blame for it. Why? His, he liked her? He, did I say he liked her? Or it sounded like I like her or something her. If you're really responsible for Laura's murder, now's the time to speak. Did Ann kill Laura? Tom? Tom, if you're innocent, please let us know. Now's the time to speak up. Did it stop? That was weird. Is there somebody other than Tom out here? What is your name? So it's all quiet right now, so I'm going to walk back a little bit in this clearing and see what I can pick up. Um, it's really overgrown. There's gopher holes and there's little flags everywhere. I don't know why they have this marked off. Let me show you guys. There's all these little flags like they're trying to mark off this location, which I would understand why. I mean, you have a Confederate soldier buried back there. So they might be trying to mark it as an historical landmark. Now, once again, this is private property, but we did get permission to come back here. And that's the thing about private properties and historical landmarks. Um, usually places like this are still accessible, whether it's private property or not, because it's owned, even though it's private property, it's still owned by the state or taken care of by the state or supposed to be taken care of by the state. So. The, the laws about that are still kind of iffy, but usually about 9 out of 10, you can still access these areas. You can see where people have been chipping away at the headstone because they want a piece of history, which that's not cool, guys. Please don't ever, ever, ever do that. And if I catch you doing that, I'm going to kick your ass. Are they still quiet? Yeah. We have to go. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Last chance before we go.
No? Okay. I mean, it seems to me like a guy who was hung and then after the fact was stated that he was innocent would want to, you know, be a little more vocal and speak his piece. You know how to piss people off, don't <laughs> I excel at pissing people off. Well, I mean, I guess you're not innocent. So you mean to tell me someone who was just presumed innocent or somebody who was presumed guilty was hung with very little evidence to support his case and you don't want to talk? Where the hell did you guys go? There were just like 500 cows out here and now they're not even oh, safe. They're down, they're down there. That many cows moved that quickly that far. They were all right behind us and I guess they're all the way back there now. But that was an interesting trek out here. We've tried several occasions to find it. Yeah. Three times. Mostly because of where it sits. You cannot see it off the road. Then we finally just got the wise idea to hit up one of the local museums and ask, which is always an awesome thing to do. And they said, yeah, the guy knew right where it was. Go down here. There's a fence. Hop it if you have to. It's no big deal. And then my husband found the footpath that goes all the way back here. So it's really, it's really not a hard, it's really not a hard location to find. You just have to know exactly where this bluff is and where this road is. And when I say bluff, I mean a huge bluff. There's the grave back there. There's the little bluff off the side of the road. That's actually maybe 30 or 40 foot drop. Yeah. What is that? Hang on, the thorn bush. Ow! Thorn bush. Up into the looks like poison ivy. Y'all, wear your jeans out here. Please don't drive off the bluff. Please don't drive off the bluff. Please don't Stop drive off the bluff. Driving. Heading down on two curves. <laughs> oh, that's deep. Yep. Uh. Chicken coops and farms and cattle all over the place. <laughs> so I think we took a wrong turn. I just follow Tom <laughs> If this turns into some hills have eyes shit, I'm out. Wait a minute. Or it could be just a really long road that hasn't been paved yet. Yet? <laughs> yet. It's North Carolina, which means it, it, it'll take about 20 years to get to. Oh, well, there's a combine. No, it is a road because see, there's the clearing up there. This will be a really bad spot to get stuck with like a flat tire or anything like that. <laughs> um, is that a driveway too on the map? Yeah, somebody's driveway. Um, well, 268 has to be close by somewhere. You're in North Carolina. It doesn't have to be anywhere it doesn't want to be. Very true. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is listed on Google Maps. Yeah. We're using Google Earth, Google Maps, and a Garmin.
All right, there's gotta be a way out of here somewhere. Basically a service road. I don't see anything else on the map though. It's a service road for the farms. Nope. Now this is Grandin Road. Who the hell is living this deep in the woods, man? I would. Like, who are you people? I mean, I get the appeal of being away from society and technology for a little while, but I would go stir crazy after a while. Okay. Alright, there we go. What is the road? Grandin Road. Okay, we're finally on Grandin Road. Make a left. First car we've seen in 45 minutes. Yeah. Make a left. Look! That's so pretty! Okay, there's bigger vehicles coming in through this way, so I'm gonna assume we're in the right direction and the highway is down this way. Because we're running into heavier traffic and bigger equipment type vehicles. Church? A bigger church? Oh, a cemetery. Right up there. Wanna stop? No, we don't have to. It's almost two. We gotta go get the kids. Although, it is really appealing. No, we don't have enough time. Okay, churches and schools. And more traffic. Yeah, Wilkesboro Boulevard will turn into 64? Highway 64? If I'm not mistaken. And all we have to do is follow 64 back to 321. And 321 and 64. There we go. Yay. It's no road trip without coffee, guys. Here. You want a iced no. French vanilla latte? Oh. Iced, iced. I mean, <laughs> A small, sugar-free frappuccino or iced coffee. Whatever they have, sugar-free. Small. Because we don't have that many of the 